Hey everybody, welcome back to another flight. Today we're going to be going from Atlanta to Charlotte. We're going to do it like a direct flight. Uh, it's about a half hour in the air. We've already put in our flight plan. We're already on the runway. If you do enjoy my content, go ahead and hit a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment for a flight plan that you want me to fly or it really does help the channel and helps me in my future videos. And if you want to see a playlist of the other ones that I've flown, it'll be up here in the top. And uh, you know, let's get with it. All right, here we are over 27 right. We're gonna go ahead and put in our altitude, which today we're gonna be flying at about 18,000 feet. We'll go ahead and dial that in there. Go ahead and make sure your rudders are fully extended. And flight sim, when you first line up, go ahead and run your rudders back and forth. For some reason, they get really touchy unless you give them full extension left or right. I guess the, the simulator needs to get what the full range of motion is. Um, don't forget. We'll go ahead and take off this parking brake. We'll put in one notch of flaps and we'll give it some gas here and get moving. We'll go full throttle on this. So we'll go ahead and come up and we'll take a left hand turn to get on our line. V1 and rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Coming down to climb speed here. We'll get ready to make that left turn. good so far longitude is very very fast you gotta keep an eye on that uh, uh, speed and that throttle you give it a lot of throttle it will just go bust that speed restriction every time And from checking the weather, it did look like there was going to be a lot of rain coming into Charlotte. We shall see. There's the Atlanta airport there. Alright, let's dial in some vertical speed here. We'll climb at about 1800 feet per minute. Go ahead and get centered up on our magenta line here. And we're on our way. We're going to be coming up on downtown Atlanta here. Off to our left side there. Alright, so the one thing we haven't put in yet is our procedure so our approach is going to be we can take a look at now graph here see what our approaches are for charlotte go ahead and manually input this one so we started in katl Destination is Charlotte, so KCLT. Perfect. And go ahead and create that. And let's look at Charlotte approaches. We'll take a look at the airport info, and we'll pin that. We're going to fly flying in on runway 23. 
so we'll look at our purchase there so we do have an ILS 2.3 yeah we'll go ahead and do that one there so we'll pin this so ILS 2.3 we'll go ahead and put that in here ILS 2.3 all right Jeff's transition yes load that and we are loaded go back home here and we'll make our climb up to 18,000 I'll catch you back at cruise All right, so we're up here at cruise, uh, 18,000, we're flying about 300 knots, doing about 420 knots on the ground. We've got a good 27 minutes till we hit our first uh, waypoint onto the approach into Charlotte there. I've already done my calculations, so we should be able to start descending at about 43 nautical miles out, and it'll take us about nine minutes at 1,500 feet per minute to go from uh, 18,000 all the way down to six, which is what we got to do for the ILS approach there. So at about nine minutes out, 43 nautical miles, we'll go ahead and start descent. And we'll, we'll slow down from the 300 knots to make it a little bit easier to hit our marks there. But I've flown this plane a lot now. I've, I've got a good handle on how the best way to take it down is, but Again, you always want to have a little bit of a cushion. You don't want to be trying to fight these altitude restrictions or the speed restrictions. So sit back, enjoy the flight, and uh, I'll catch you when we start the descent. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're about to start our descent down to 6,000 feet so we can hit our first waypoint there, our transition, which will be Jeff's. So we'll go ahead and dial that in here. Down to 6,000. We're gonna drop at about 1,500 feet per minute. That's the calculations that gave us. It should take us about nine minutes to get down there. And we're about 10 and a half minutes from Jeff's there. So we'll go ahead Put this in for six. So we'll go ahead and put this in there for six. Go ahead into vertical speed mode here. Put this at 1500 feet. And we'll go ahead and start slowing down as well. Bring us down to about 280. And we'll come down to about 250 before we hit 10,000. When you're below 10,000, you can't be faster than 250 knots. And once we hit that 10,000, we'll go ahead and turn on our landing lights as well. Go ahead and prep our approach there. Thank you. 
Alright, so we're coming in on the approach now. We've already got our landing lights on. We've already slowed to about 250 here. And we're going to make that right hand turn to hit our transition onto Jeffus. Once we get to Jeffus, we're going to go from there to Atel. Uh, altitude is going to be 6,000 at Jeffus, 4,000 at Atel, and we'll intercept that localizer at 2,500 feet. We're going to go slightly below it because I want to make sure that I ca catch the ball on that one. And it's always better to be a little bit below. You end up catching it just right, and then you can activate that approach and fly it all the way in. So as you can see here on the FMS, we're going to make that right hand turn and we'll, we'll go ahead and slide this down a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. So it'll be Jeffus, Attel, Lacar, and then straight into Charlotte onto runway 23. So we'll go ahead and dial in our 4000 so we have it ready. But actually, we'll probably go ahead and put in 2400. We can intercept the localizer at 25, but I like to be just slightly below. We don't have a restriction on a minimum. Flying over Kannapolis right now, we'll be kind of over Concord as well. Just monitoring everything. good so far and here we can see the runway directly ahead it's those two flashing white lights here they said the weather was going to be raining it's not at all um, I do have it on live weather so I guess it clear it up a bit. We've already captured that localizer and we'll activate approach mode right before we hit the car. And we'll go ahead and drop our speed down to about 230. And then we'll put in our second notch of flaps. Concentration mode is on. Flaps two. Gear extending. this green ball to come towards the mid here and then we'll capture it fly it all the way down runway in sight approach mode altitude off and we've captured we'll go ahead and turn off our auto throttle here Feet on the rudders, ready to go. And 
looking good so far. It's quite a smooth landing here. Well, smooth approach will be. Throttle back some more. Those are 500 feet warning. 400. And autopilot off. We'll fly the rest. Make sure we line up a little bit better. Throttle to idle. Brakes are out. Manual toe brakes. Clean up the flaps here. Welcome to Charlotte. If you stuck around to the end, I appreciate it. If you like my content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It didn't cost you anything. It definitely helps out the channel. And leave a comment if you didn't like it. Give it that thumbs down. And let me know what else I can do to improve. Still out here learning, and I'll catch you on the next flight. Take care.